Howdy everybody, Derek here with Blue Cactus and welcome back to Maple Ridge here in Northern Michigan. Now, I know it's been a while since I talked to you guys. Uh, I kind of twisted my back and it's and it's uh, kept us from being, you know, full throttle productive all week. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm getting better now. I'm just kind of stiff in the mornings, but uh, we're still been able to chip away at stuff. So let's uh, show you guys around. Back you up, you can see Almost all of our fall colors are gone now. All we got left is the oaks, which is always the last to go. So we got the gable, uh, the the T111 up there on the gable, and the final piece around the door, um, front and back. They're, they're both done. Darren's in here making noise, but but also check this one. We've got a doorknob. Ooh, fancy. And this right here is my dog. Hey man, hold on just a second. Alrighty. That's really, really loud. So anyways, this here is my bed. Um, and this is Darren's bed. We built these, what, two nights ago? Yeah. And then yesterday we had a town run and we got some foam to put on the, uh, the beds. It's a inch and a half insulation foam. I know it's going to get ruined, but it's a cost effect, cost effective way of making it, uh, uh, a little softer right now and then right here and here is going to be some shelving on my end um, so I can have a spot for my clothes and you know and assorted stuff like that and we still have to build that shelving up into the into the top bunk so Darren has somewhere for his clothes and stuff Darren built this ladder like on day one of building and we've used it uh, for lots of different things basically a camera holder or saw horses um, so anyway, we, we decided to use it right here, and all we had to do was cut off one little corner so he can come running right up into his bed. Yeah, and uh, jump right in there. Pretty neat, huh? And Darren is over here in Emily's room. Yeah. Yeah, so our bunks are three feet wide um, by 80 inches. After we, after we take the shelving out, they'll be 80 inches long, three feet wide, plenty big. Um, Emily's over here is 44 and a half, right? Yep. 44 and a half. And uh, so it's wider to kind of compensate for the fact that there's not as much headroom up there. So, you know, it's just somewhere for uh, Emily to sleep if she was here. And it's also storage if she's not here. Ain't that right, buddy? Yep. Oh. oh. There's the, uh, there's the back slipping. Well, at least that didn't happen on camera, right? Right. All right, so over here, I did cut the window out today. And you can see how we got this framed up. I got two two-bys on this side to make it extra strong. Darren was hanging on it, and so was I, trying to stretch the back. And so we have it nailed, screwed off to the studs all the way around there. You know, it's into the, the, the top double plates of the, the walls. And then, but we put these beams here to hold up this double beam. And then we just did the same in the corner there and the corner here because you can kind of see, you know, fishing rod holders, um, shovel holders, net holder, maybe a rifle, you know, cool stuff that belongs behind a door, you know, you never know when you're going to need it, right? And then, so we've got the hole in the window because we've, we've got an adapter to put the generator cord through it. And have a uh, power in here and we also I don't, oh here it is we bought a little space heater so we've been able to keep it warm in here at night it's getting better every day guys but so anyways um, after we put the window in or this is kind of where a guy would be editing or doing computer work it's right here staring out the window you know looking down the driveway for for all comers you know which is kind of where I'm always looking so um I did get my I did get my laptop fixed the first battery that I ordered of course didn't fit so I ordered another one and it finally got here and then you know we were busy and I wasn't able to get right to it but now I did get it in and uh, I have edited through all of the backlogged videos and so now I'm kind of at a pickle where I got a I got to kind of take all the clips that I posted here on the backup channel and make something for the main channel to connect the dots between then and now. 
and and then get back into the swing of things. And I'm still going to post unedited stuff like this here on this channel. I kind of like doing it this way, even though I will put this into the computer and add the logos and stuff and do a proper outro because because I like doing it. So so yeah. So the laptop is fixed, and whenever Darren's up here, wait, he's just waiting on me. But whenever he's done, we'll probably maybe we'll start building this table. Maybe we'll go back over here to the shelving. You know, and just keep chip, chip, chipping away at it, you know? So, what do you guys think of this place, huh? What do you think, Darren? you think these these add-ons are making it feel smaller in here or just more like, nooks? Uh, cooler. Right. Yeah. So, you can see that those gaps up there. That's just temporary. Um, we had to put something in there and then to so we can mount the trim board to it this way. Whichever way it goes, that way, whenever we get to it, but... That's what's going on here in the shabbing, guys. You like it? Yes, I do. Is it better sleeping in here than the truck? Yeah, for sure. Right. All right, man, get back to it. Oh. So, yeah, man. Twisted my back and uh, could have went without that little slip down the stairs, but um, oh well. Um, so, yeah. I've been uh, stiff as a board in the morning. The, honestly, the last two or three mornings when I've woke up, uh, I, I've, I've felt borderline paralyzed and not even, I mean, I, I know that there are real people paralyzed and obviously I'm not, but I'm just so so dang stiff in the mornings that, uh, I mean, it, it takes me a minute to get up and Darren had to put my my socks on the, twice the first two days I couldn't uh, well the day one and day two Darren had to put my socks on for me I couldn't reach my feet but um I found out the secret is coming out here and setting it in here in the the truck because it come the seat comes with a heat pad you know those seat warmers so I come out here and set on that for half hour hour while I'm drinking a couple cups of coffee and uh you know and then and then doing some stretches and stuff and it and it you know I loosen up and I'm able to work all day but um, all I did was move a, a, a boom box from, you know, just, just twisted at the perfect angle to knock myself out of commission. But anyways, getting better every day. Um, that's the update. We're running out of time up here, guys, but we still got lots of stuff to do. Still got shingles to do, um, some soffit around the sides, um, and then paint, lots of trim work, but that's all right. I'm enjoying myself, spending my time, spending time with my son, and and uh, you know, just having fun. All right, we'll see you guys again in the next one. Bye. <laughs>